Yep. takes episode motherfucking do you even know at this point <laughs> i think it's like five right five no we passed five we had like eight nine mm. literally live from miami just touched down today we gonna figure this whole thing out man we down here for a minute and we definitely want to work on this wonderlust project it's something that's like really important to me you know what i mean like working on this album getting the productions together Make sure it sounds like it's supposed to. And I find inspiration from the craziest places, the craziest situations. So I think it's gonna turn out to be a good thing. I know Cam excited, Cam more excited than me every time we go somewhere. What are we doing today? Our BNB about to pull up. I mean, I said BNB. <laughs> Our BNB done pulled up. The BNB has not pulled up. <laughs> Our Uber pulling up. I think it's this uh, Blue Honda right here. And it's like a 20 minute ride. Hopefully it don't rain today. It looks like it's going to rain. Miami a vibe, yo. Like, it's like, it has that rebirth feeling. And when you hear, you can capture a lot of what it has. It's like every environment is conducive to like what you're trying to grow into, you know what I'm saying? So if you're trying to grow into something, you really want to have beautiful, good soil, you know, you want to have like rich, I don't want to say wet, you know what I'm saying? You just want to have rich soil. You want to grow in that rich soil. So when you're working on projects, when you're creating something, it's highly important for you to have an environment that's conducive to your creativity. Because without that environment, I mean, shit, you just create a place within. And that's cool and all. The wonderless is about everything around me, you know. From the plants to the to the air, to the water, to the people, to the food, to the Latin vibe. It's just all artsy, it's just all colorful. So that's why I came to Miami to work on Wonderlust. And I'm hoping that this album can make people feel how I felt when I came to Miami, you know what I'm saying? Sunglass spot, you know what I'm saying? So sunglasses and shit. So what? Dude, dude that worked uh, on the sunglass spot. Uh-huh. Was like a DJ or some shit, but he worked with Alchemist.
California, my pops, he would buy a bunch of these from the Spanish store out there in San Bernardino. And the nectar juice is like some really good juice. It tastes good, you got a lot of vitamin C in it. It's some real good juice. And I was just telling Cam, like, if they made this as a smoothie, it'd be refreshing as fuck. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not